Hey Raven here from tjtrue.com and we're going to talk about cashing out with FBA private label. So private label tips and precautions. One rule you should have as a business person is always assume that it'll be more expensive than you think. I find it wrong and misleading when so-called Amazon FBA masters underestimate the expenses that go into owning a private label business. There are those that claim that you can start a private label business with as little as $1,000. That, my friend, is setting you up for failure. Consider all possibilities when drawing up your FBA budget. Budgeting? The cost of manufacturing a product is simple enough. After all, you negotiate for products that have a minimum quantity and price range. Depending on your product, your unit price can range anywhere from 10 cent to a hundred of dollars. What matters instead are the hidden costs leading up to obtaining the product. Most often than not, you'll need to get samples from the manufacturing company. Depending on the type of product you want to be manufactured, you can be dealing with zero to a hundred dollars in sample cost. If you intend to launch your store with at least five private private label products, you should anticipate hidden sample expenses ranging from zero to five hundred, if not more. In addition to hidden costs, what else could throw off your budget? What would happen to your storage budget if your store doesn't make a sale for a profit? So budgeting pitifuls. Well, for starters, your storage expenses and budget would invariably increase. Therefore, draw a budget that will give you at least one to six months leeway. Should you have zero or low sales, your budget should be able to sustain you. Should you should your product be returned by the customer, say faultly goods, Amazon will charge you a return fee. Depending on the actual value of your product, it is vital that you track every return and dispute fraudulent ones. And we're also going to insert a link down at the bottom so you guys can check it out. And it's um, talking about how to handle FBA returns and minimize loss. So we're going to continue. Manage your inventory well and be careful to budget for products given away via coupons, freebies, and other giveaways. Limit the amount of money that you spend on FBA courses, software, plugins, search engines, etc. These add up quite a bit, seeing as some FBA online courses are priced starting at a thousand. Sure. It helps to have steps-by-step -step detailed guidance and mentorship. However, I would advise that you conduct through research on your YouTube and Google. There's tons of free FBA information out there. The more you research, you'll discover the most critical FBA tools to purchase. Jungle Scout and Enviro Lunch. And we're going to put those links down there in the description box as well. And if you approach your FBA private label budget with the necessary precaution, you will most certainly prosper. And we're going to enter a little blog link. And, it, and they're going to talk about how much do you really need to start an Amazon FBA online business. And we're going to go ahead and move on to making profit and product pricing. When determining a sales price, take into consideration Amazon's fees, return fees, product fees, packaging costs, shipping, third party inspectors, giveaways, running ads, defective, unsellable products, scams, taxes, etc. Here are some recommended pricing. Tax and plug-in softwares that will help you price your product and run your store. And we're going to enter a link there as well just to help Amazon tools for sellers. So real, realistically, calculate your profit margins. What percentage profit are you hoping to make? 10%, 20%, or perhaps 50, 70, or 100% profit margins. A 160 profit margin sounds great. However, does a margin help you complete favorable against similar products? Without attractive product pricing, you will not get sales. And also, those that show their amazing sales figures are not showing their profit and loss statement. So only believe the video articles that reveal profits and lose lo losses alongside amazing numbers. So we're going to get into the private label manufacturing op options, USA versus China. Seems pretty obvious, right? No. Chinese manufacturers are affordable quality products, and that's absolutely 
right if everyone looks at how much let's say um if you want to buy something wholesale or from a vendor it's a lot cheaper in china than it is in the u.s try europe european manufacturers instead even better get my drift even if you plan on dabbling in organic products your sales will fare better if you manufacture your products in the usa versus china sure it's a bit more expensive to make products in the u.s however the organic and vegan customer base will be more inclined to purchase a product manufactured in the u.s of a with organic products b they food or toiletries they have found that the usa customers prefer to see the made in usa label which is true when i'm looking for some things and i see made in the u.s i'm shocked and i love it when I see made in China, I'm just like, meh, just like everything else. Am I right or am I right? So we're going to go ahead and move on to the pros and cons. Generally speaking, manufactured products from China and the U.S. have pros and cons. Let's go ahead and get into the U.S. pros. Made in the USA label, which is trusted, readily available for shipping to a nearby fulfillment warehouse, quality manufacturing, and quality tested products. Here are the U.S. of A cons. Expensive manufacturing costs, less profits, and reduced competitive prices. So let's go ahead and get into the China pros. Cost-effective manufacturing, more profits, highly competitive pricing, streamlined high-tech private label processing. And here are the cons of China. Fraudulent manufacturers, long shipping schedules. Now, if you guys have ever shipped anything from China, you know it takes maybe one or two weeks for you to receive it so we're gonna go ahead and get into the third party inspection hiring a third party inspector is to be seriously considered you have the option of having your items inspected in China or the USA most private private label owners prefer conducting shipping inspections in China to reduce the practice of having damaged goods goods packaged as sellable it wouldn't make any sense to carry out product inspections in a USA port upon arrival of the shipment. So, the importance of excellent reviews and quality products. Now, before I say anything, can you guys please tell me one thing and what's important when it comes to reviews and the quality of the products? What's so important about that? Why do you need to have excellent reviews and why do you need to have quality products? Please let me know in the comments. So, as an FBA seller, you are free from sometimes a thankless task of dealing with customers. You may be aware that some customers can be quite high maintenance. Thankfully, Amazon handles customer inquiries, returns, and refunds. So, Amazon customers, you write a review and grade your product's quality by eluding gold stars. Reviews can be good or bad. Be aware that Amazon takes customer reviews very seriously. It rewards stores that have good track records and penalizes stores for having poor and fake products. 2013 Consumer Reports stated 79% of consumers trusted online reviews as much as personal recommendations. 85% of consumers that they read all online reviews for local businesses. 73% of consumers say positive customer reviews make them trust a company more and we're actually going to put a link down there um, about the Amazon reviews and you guys really should check it out plugins such as sales backer follow up with customers to obtain reviews and recommendations sales backers does not create fake reviews but instead communicates with consumers to re request real reviews you get back both product reviews and seller feedback from sales baker best of all it informs you of all the negative re reviews made on your products page in real time Time so, the, so that you can re respond to, say, and irate customers in good time. And that's where you can go to salesbaker.com. Please note, FBA handles all detailed inquiries about your product. And finally, pay attention to every poor review and star grade given so as to improve or change your product or supplier. Above all, provide good quality in-demand product with fantastic packaging. Don't underestimate the power of creating creative packaging you'll be amazed at how emotional people get about packaging you are now well on your way to becoming an fba expert and thanks for watching this is raven from tjtrue.com